Hi, Damien here from Power Diary. In this video, we're going to look at adding uh, calendars or adding clinicians um, to your um, account. So we're just going to click here on Setup and Calendars. And here you'll see we've got a few already added um, to this um, to this account. But to add a new one, you would just click on Add New Calendar here and then you can complete um, the details um, to add a new person in. Now what I'm going to do though is show you one that we've already completed because it makes it a little bit clearer uh, in terms of what information goes where. So if we look at Renee, we get a bit of a profile for Renee. Um, we uh, put in her, her main um, name, a shortened name, which is sometimes uh, used for, say for text messages. You might prefer, uh, prefer to have a a less formal uh, name going out, um, her real name, so this is uh, used for insurance purposes and so forth, a mobile number. Um, now this mobile number does not um, get sent out um, or sent or exposed to, to clients unless uh, you include that in a merge field um, in one of your communications. So yeah, but it's used uh, internally to notify uh, Renee of um, appointments or new appointments or cancellations and so forth. Uh, you enter uh, enter Renee's um, email address. You can also add some custom invoice text. So if there's anything specific uh, to do with Renee that you would like to appear on invoices, you can um, do that. Then we have these couple of options here that are very handy. Um, so this is appointment information. So you can add this um, information um, about Renee. Uh, and when you're on the main calendar page, and I might actually just flick and uh, flick across and show you this, um, what you'll see here is that information. If you hover over Renee, you'll see that information pop up to say that she's a child psychologist, um, prefers ages you know three to eighteen, and so forth. This can be very helpful uh, when you've got new administrative staff, for instance, who don't know um, who does what. Um, it means that when they're booking an appointment, they can quickly see which may be the appropriate clinician to book a patient or a client in with. So I'll just go back into Renee's um, profile here. Uh, finally, we have some information that you can add uh, that is visible to clients if they, they are booking through your client portal. So in other words, if clients are booking appointments themselves, um, you can have some separate information that shows. So here we've got Renee as an experienced child psychologist with special interest in education development. So it makes it easy for uh, people to see if she might be uh, a good fit for them. Just looking at some other options in this uh, calendar or clinician setup, um, we have some settings here uh, that allow you to sort of customize some of the behavior um, of uh, how you would like appointments treated. Um, for instance, we can set a default location, so if new appointments are made, we can say um, which location they should be um, defaulted to. We can also control what services are available for people to book online, so patients who are booking online themselves, um, you can customize what services are available uh, to be booked for each uh, clinician. And now we have a couple of communication options here. So um, if, for instance, a client was to uh, reply to a text, um, you have the option of actually forwarding that text through directly to Renee, um, or you could have it forwarded to her email address or to a business address and, and so forth. Um, in a similar way, if a client was to cancel via SMS, um, then you can um, have the option there to forward a notification um, via SMS or email and so forth to uh, Renee. Now, um, I'll show you very quickly here insurers, but I won't go through the setup of that uh, as we'll do that in another video, but uh, just to let you know that, that it is there. Um, we have Google Sync, so if Renee wants her um, appointments from Powered RE synced out to a Google Calendar, you can do that. Um, there. We also have some of the available services that I was referring to that we can kind of customize um, and we can show which services are available uh, for uh, booking on the client portal for Renee. And finally here we have the uh, diary roster. Now what uh, we'll do is in a separate video I'll show you how to set up and configure um, the rosters but for, for now I just want to let you know that that is there. So um, that's it uh, for this video. Uh, you can add um, clinicians um, to your system uh, very easily. So just um, set up calendars and add a new calendar. Uh, as you add um, new calendars or in fact if you deactivate calendars, so if someone was finishing up uh, with you, 
um, and you can just deactivate that um, then there and save it will automatically adjust your plan so if um, adding clinicians increases your plan um, then you'll be notified of that uh, or in fact if you were to deactivate all the data is saved but that person is removed from the plan um, and their calendar no longer displays in your main screen but the data is still there so that all ha happens automatically you don't need to contact us or do anything um, to add or remove uh, clinicians thank you very much uh, for watching that's uh, the end of this video